Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today you're seeing my reflection in the uh, plastic here. We are looking at Wizards, or I'm sorry, Warlords and Wizards, the board game. Uh, this is a strategy game for ages 12 and up. Two players may contain small parts uh, that a child could choke on, naturally, because uh, children are pretty good at choking on little stuff, apparently. Uh, this is um, kind of a weird game that I found online a long time ago and just never got around to opening. It was put out in like 96, I think, and it originally retailed for around 20 bucks. There's a 19.99 price tag on here, but that I think it was for a while a lot more expensive. I've seen these go for about 50 bucks online. I'll put up a still shot of this so you can uh, read it at your leisure by pausing the video. Um, finding these sealed is pretty difficult, so finding them open is difficult enough. Finding them sealed is going to cost you some money. I got lucky, I got this for around 20 bucks. Uh, but this came out around 96, I want to say. And, uh, it's, it's a strange board game because it is a chess-like game. They say up to four players. I don't think that really works. I've seen this game played. And it was best played by two players. So let's open this up, ruin its uh, collector value by opening it. And uh, you'll probably want to save this piece if you're real big into the collector aspect. But um, yeah, it's a pretty hard game to find. So if you're looking for it, make sure the box is not crushed and you don't have my reflection in there because that would creep all of us out. So let's see what we got here. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. So I was eager to buy it, especially because I got it so cheap. So, oh, there goes the value. All right, so. There goes my pen again. I'm good at knocking the pen off the table. All right, so there's the board. This is a very unique board because it is like four person mini chess. And it does have locations, uh, like player one goes here, player two is over here. Um, if you're playing four player, you have to play teams. So basically you have uh, wizards on one side on these circles and wizard on player two side and then in the circle or in the squares here we have elf sorceress elf elf uh, dragon slayer warlord fortress and priestess and it's the same on all of them they just alternate colors like here's the elf on a black square instead of the orange square so the board is very specifically designed, so good luck replacing it. As you can see, this one was never opened, uh, and hopefully you can see this on there, but there's already some damage on the seam where it had kind of stuck together because this um, surface coating is actually really glossy uh, paper, um, like a, a, a laminated uh, glossy paper. And what the problem with glossy paper is over time, if it's left to sit, even in good conditions, it can get kind of like tacky and stick together. Uh, you see it with a lot of collectible card games that are put on cheap paper when the, that cheap paper is glossy and laminated, uh, the deck will stick together. Uh, the Battle Lords video I did is a real good example of that. It was just one big brick. And a lot of these um, homemade type games or low print run games had that problem and this one is one of those games so be aware of that that this is kind of that um, kind of cheap low end and I don't blame the creators that uh, they had to get what they could afford and the, the layout looks fine it's just they ended up getting a lower end um, quality uh, laminate I guess it would be uh, over their glossy paper so 
it's just really a result of the cheap paper but the the board looks fine it's got you know the the logo here which looks pretty cool i'll be honest i, I think it's very classy it's a simple design for a board i like that i don't need a bunch of crap cluttering it up i'm here for the strategy for a game like this so that's the board let's get it out of the way all right here we've got an order form for uh Bixler Enterprises out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And they're at a party spot. Alright, one game is $20 plus $5 shipping and handling. Three games is $50 bucks plus $10 shipping. And 20 games is $300 plus $20 bucks shipping. Please allow four to six weeks for delivery. Well, I don't think they're in business anymore, so kind of irrelevant. Uh, and you'd have to sell it for a lot more money than the $20 if, if you're buying these for your store. All right, so the rule sheet is just a sheet of paper folded in half. Um, doesn't look real complicated. Uh, it tells you what directions they can move in or attack in. So like the elf is just one square around him. The wizard is diagonal only for direction. So it is sort of a chess game. It's effectively a chess game. Who am I kidding? All right, uh, anything hiding under here? Nope. Uh, the interior of the box is held up pretty well. All right, so instead of uh, actual chess pieces, these are cardboard. So let's see what we got here because that's pretty disappointing. It looks like most of the money went into the board itself and not the pieces, which is real disappointing. In modern times, this would be a lot easier to make because you could contact China through the internets and uh, see about making some pieces very cheaply. Um, and the, the mid 90s was a real rough time because it was just the beginning of the internet age. So you'd get cool ideas for games like this and then they wouldn't be able to follow through. It would be the old style of games uh, manufacturing. Whereas now you could get online and place an order for 10,000 custom made pieces for what this guy probably paid to have these printed up in color as cardboard. So here we got an elf. It's a pretty thick cardstock piece. Um, it's just cardboard, but it is pretty thick, pretty nicely made. Um, and here we've got little stands. There's actually two here and it just sits on there. And it's like that for all of them. We've got the elf, we've got the priestess, we've got a dragon slayer. Um, there's a white dragon slayer, a white priestess, white elf, black elf, priestess, dragon slayer, dragon slayer, priestess, elf, elf, warlord, yeah, warlord, uh, the wizard. Uh, priestess, is that a priestess? No, sorceress, my bad. Warlord, elf, elf, warlord, wizard, sorceress. The art's not bad, they're just really small. Uh, there's the fortress. Yeah, there's a lot of elves, so yeah, enough pieces to play. Uh, realistically, the pieces are good. They're just old style, old timey. If you don't like the vintage stuff from the 90s or the 80s, you're probably going to hate this. But, yeah. Um, 93 is the copyright date. I don't know when it was actually released. I think it was 96, though. But 93, quite a likely possibility, too. Um... So that's all the pieces there is in the box. Um, I would like to see the person that owns the copyright to this re-release this now with these being plastic pieces. Because I think the concept is really cool and uh, the board does look really cool. It would definitely add a, a big element to it to play with the rules for this game uh, on this board and see how it actually plays out. Because I think it would be a lot of fun I remember the game looked really cool and was a lot of fun, but it's been a really long time. Uh, I saw it when it first came out as a demo game, 
So, um, I actually forgot that there were cardboard pieces. I thought there were actual plastic pieces. But that might have been something the guy showing us the game uh, put together. But, yeah, that's what's inside. Um, overall, not a bad game, especially if you can find it cheap. This is Warlords and Wizards. Uh, it's, uh, it's a strategy game for sure. And it's put out by... Um, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce this. Bixler Enterprises, maybe? Yeah, it, it's copyright 1993 Wizards, or Warlords and Wizards slash DBD. Uh, D, I'm sorry, BDB. Uh, Bixler Enterprises is how I understand it. So uh, that'll do it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching. And we hope to see you next time on What's Inside.